Hi, y'all. I'm gonna show you. I got this new yarn winder thingy here. I've never had one before yet. You get to turn it. Well, I've got a. I just got the instructions out for it. And um, get over here where you see. And see, it's got this thing that came with it. It's doodad. I don't know what this is for. And it don't say on there. It don't show <coughs> what this doodad is for. <coughs> Maybe this, I bet that's a clamp where you clamp it onto the table. But where would you clamp it at? Maybe... Maybe it would go through there. I bet you that's it. Yeah, it's a table clamp. Okay. Well, what I want to do now is try this out. I'm excited about this. I got this yarn here. I'd like to ball up. I don't know how big a ball you can do on this thing, but we'll find out. This might be a little too much, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay, this is a lot on here. This, maybe I should get a smaller. I think I should start with a smaller thing of it. So, I'm going to let you look at my dog while I go and uh, get a smaller wad of yarn. And then I'll show you what the yarn I bought yesterday at Hobby Lobby. I'll be right back. I hate it that I had to walk off like that, but I got two small things here that we'll use. Let me sit down here. Now, now, I've got two small things here we'll use. I got something in the mouth, too. If I can get that open and get that little paper out of the way. Now, I'm going to do this and get it started here. See, I've got to do this. Get this. Okay. Here we go. Now, let's see exactly how I'm supposed to get it started in this loop thing here. What does it show us? Okay, let me put my glasses on. You, uh, you put your yarn in there. Put it in there like that. Let's see, which, which way do you go? You go to the back. And you stick your little piece of yarn in there like that. Okay. Yeah, it needs, kind of needs to be anchored down. Look at there. It's doing it. Oh, that's neato. Let me pull some more of this out right here. I paid $30 for this little thing. I think that's a little high for just a little bit of contraption like this. There's not much to it. It's very handy, but it's not much to the materials of making it or the mechanics of it working. 
But you know how it is, everything's going to cost a million dollars nowadays. Oh, it flopped over there. I don't know how I see. Oh. I saw another one. I looked up, you know, I googled these things. I saw another kind that I, I liked better than this. Maybe I'll get one of them later on, but we'll see how this does for now. Get this string here sorted out. The tension's a little loose on this thing. Get the rest of this undone. Yeah, try to. Come on now. Get that off of me. Tension's loose on it, but. Maybe it'll be okay. Well, and there's that. There's the end of the string. Well, I wish I had a crochet hook with me. Dang it. Anyway, you just take it off of that, slide it off, and there's your ball of yarn. <laughs> there's that. I just got an idea. I wonder if she could put a piece of, um, like cut a piece off of a paper towel, you know, the center cardboard of a piece of paper towel, you know, tube, paper towel tube put on there. And then this, we take this off, it'd have that tube inside of it. Let's see. Now, don't you come undone now. You get in there and don't you come undone. Poke that in there. Well, where's the outside part of it? Right there. I don't like the, the center of it being wide open like that. I think what I'm going to do is try putting it, the outside end of it in here and do it like that. Hey, there we go. That'll hold it till I get ready to use it. There we go. Okay. Here's another one. Which end am I going to use here? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Start off by threading that in there. Come um, to the, the back of it like that, and then stick it in there, and it's ready to go. Here we go. Let me turn this. holding this on my shoulder and letting it can you see how I'm holding this on my shoulder this yarn I'm holding it right here on my shoulder and letting this thing wind it up come on now come on out of there well it would help if I turn well it's a little awkward right now I need to clamp it onto the table somewhere. It would help if I could clamp it. The yarn's kind of stuck in here. Well. Yeah. 
Those yarns nesting up inside of there. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Come on. Some of this, this is real neon. I wonder if that might glow in the dark. Put it in my hands. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Here we go. getting tangled up over here again. Dang it. Just knock it off. Quit tangling. Get that hair out of there. Yeah. When the yarn gets like this, that's when it starts tangling. Yeah, it's got quite a tangle on it. I'm going to go ahead and wind up this and not worry about that later. Oh, what a mess. Come on now. neat little invention that you want to beat the heck out of trying to wind up balls by hand. Especially if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, which I do. I crochet more than I should. Dang, I love to crochet. I just love making all kinds of stuff. We're going to get down to the end of it here and straighten this out. Straighten all this out. Come on now. Here we go. There's the end of it, right there. So here's what we do. Take that off, slide it off. Now I'm gonna hold that in, put it, tuck it inside there where it's supposed to be. And this it's on the outside. I'm gonna, well, come here. Where did it go? There it is, right over here. Take it. Tuck it inside of there. Pull it to the other side. And then, well, come on, get in there. Okay. Everything just fights me. There. Now, see, there it is. There it is. There's a ball waiting to be used. So that's it. Pretty neat little contraption, huh? Pretty neat little contraption. Here's the box. I can get a hold of it. That's the box. Yarn winder. You can see the price on there. 30 million bucks. Nice box. I will keep it in there when I'm not using it. I'm going to go ahead and ball up some other ones. I've got it out.
Oh, well. Let's see. All right, y'all, that's it for now. Bye.